Uh, today I have a vent hood motor. So uh, the kitchen here is a taco place. They've got a bunch of smoke in there. The complaint is they can't breathe. It's too much for them. ACs are working, but uh, above the fryers, the smoke's too unbearable. Um, so I came to the service call a few days ago. Uh, this breaker was tripped for this motor for this main vent hood. It's the greasy one, so you know it's the main one. Uh, I turned it on, I reset it, I inspected everything, reset it. And it ran for a few minutes and it starts sparking. And it, internally the windings just burned up. It's a three phase motor, so the motor's bad. I'm just gonna do a quick video on how to wire your new motor. It's got an A66 belt. The belt has a crack on it, it's bad, got a new belt. Um, what I'm gonna do here is look at this new motor. Um, so when you're looking for your motor, if you got a restaurant or something, you're looking for the um, this cat number is your model number. Um, then you want the voltage, the correct voltage. Notice there's two, 230 and 460. Those are huge differences. You'll explode if you do it the wrong way. Uh, you might hurt yourself. So be careful. Make sure you know what you're doing. Amperage. Uh, you want to make sure the RPMs are are the same. On this motor, it's a 1725. This one's 1755. So it's got a pinch um, more. That's not going to hurt anything. Uh, the frame, uh, the bolt placement, and the the length between the bolts to the positioning on these things. So that matters. So they're going to want your frame number. Um, so let's see what else. We got um, your efficiency, if that matters. Let's see, pretty much that's it. So really your model number, your voltage, your horsepower, that matters. You don't want it to go crazy, it'll, it'll break. So your voltage, your horsepower, uh, your RPMs, and uh, your frame. So your frame, you can kind of alter it if you're good with nuts and bolts and drilling holes and fabrication. Uh, but uh, to save yourself the time, you want to you want to match those three: the frame, RPM, um, the voltage, the horsepower, and uh, I guess the amps. But those are the main ones right there. Uh, next, you're going to look at your shaft size. Uh, I took a measurement here, and uh, this is like a, a bushing, so you want to measure the shaft inside. And the measurement I got was three quarters of an inch. Uh, so I told that to the parts guy, and he uh, said there's no three quarters, so the closest thing was a seven eighths. So this is most likely seven eighths. I was in a hurry, and that's probably what it is. Um, so he gave me a seven eighths shaft over here. And uh, I didn't know if the, um, the pulley was gonna be seized on here. Sometimes you can't take them off. You gotta put a little WD. 40, some elbow grease and uh, some sweat and tears on these things and then uh, you might be able to get it off and reuse it but um, as you can see the uh, there's basically no wall left so it's, it definitely needs replacement I ordered a new one uh, so you want to match your pulley size get your shaft size and then your pulley size right here this will be your diameter all the way across and to the center halfway will be your radius I measured four and three quarters. So the guy kind of corresponded that to the, the pulley I have over there. So I just wanted to give you some insight on one, changing one of these motors. Uh, the same thing goes for uh, a vent hood that looks like this. This one just looks all busted. So you want to make sure your pulley is going to be the right size because uh, the belt has X amount of length from that pulley to this pulley and uh, that will affect if your belt's going to work or not. So I really want to try to use this one but I got a new one anyway so I'm going to pop that on there and uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the wiring. So I, I got these screws out. It's got a like a, uh, a kind of like a chassis it sits on. So this is the frame of the motor, the little legs. And it sits on like a chassis and then it, it swings and it goes right back there goes my drill it goes right back into place swings in here and then you just tighten that up 
So the next thing I want to talk about is the big difference I mentioned earlier, 230, 460. Uh, so there's usually uh, either a piece of paper it comes with or a wiring diagram. And uh, you can see that on either side there's a low voltage, there's a high voltage. And in the voltage, there's a low voltage, there's a high voltage. So you can kind of piece that together and say that this is your low voltage and this is your high. This is your low, this is your high. And uh, so the next step you want to do is count the numbers of wires you have coming out of here. These are all numbered and it just so happens to be 9. So if you are using 230, you're going to have to tie 4, 5, and 6. Those dots are connected. So you find here, I've already done it with the three wires connected. Color coding doesn't really mean anything. Don't go based on color code. There's no color code directions, numbers. This one's numbered. It's got the three wires, four, five, six. They're tied in. Looking at the low voltage side. Um, then the dots are connected from nine to three. Is this getting blurry or is it me? The dots are connected from 8 to 2 and 7 to 1. So 9 to 3 is orange and gray right here. There's a 3 on that wire. 9 and 3. Uh, 8 to 2. That's going to be, I believe, this red and blue. And then the 7 to 1 is going to be... Uh, no, that one's the... the pink and blue right here and the 8 to 2 was this red and white colors don't matter it doesn't matter but what I did is I already tied them so there's now one with three wires there's one with two wires and those are the bottom three two two and two and these are these are these one two three these lines so the four five six has the three wires and that's just gonna sit in there forever and just go away so now in my case I believe we got three phase power so we're gonna we're gonna go one two three and the phases of power they should not matter so let me double check everything uh, 120 120 120 per leg and that gives us the uh, 208 anyways we're at uh, 208 I'm gonna uh, I left these two bolts I uh, took off the bottom two and I left these two to suspend it so I can work on it in a good position. Remove the wiring. Actually, this, this thing is live. I forgot I was testing those legs. <laughs> so I'm going to go shut that off before I hurt myself. And then uh, ready to unscrew those two things, drop it out, pop this one in place, and then wire it in. So, Alright, so I positioned my motor. These screws are loose, but I got all four bolts, uh, nuts and bolts, just holding the motor back here. So it's just dangling here. I put my wire cord on, I turned off the breaker, put my wire cord through, and I secured my ground wire. So there's four wires, one, two, three, and ground. The green is ground. I just looped it, and then uh, got my drill 5 sixteenths. Uh, got that green nut there. Loosened it, popped the wire in, put it back in. Uh, so now I'm dealing with uh, one, two, three, the other three wires. So it's three phases. Uh, the last thing you gotta keep in mind is the rotation. So this, this is the other motor. I simply pulled it off the frame and set it exactly the way it is on the frame. With these two little legs, just like that. Uh, so you can see there's a sticker on here. The rotation is pointing that way. Um, so the, the rotation is going that way, just like that, and so it's going to be going like this. So I'm going to connect these real quick. I'm going to get, I'm going to just uh, put any of these three to any of these three, and if it's not the rotation I want, I'm going to switch two phases. So there's one, here's the black wire. I'm gonna grab any two wires.
put them to the black wire. I set my phone down. Uh, there's the black wire. And then uh, the last set of two wires, which is these two, to that little bitty blue one back there. Okay there, so I got all three phases. You can see the old shitty wire going to two wires. This old red shitty wire is going to two fresh wires. And then there's the old blue shitty wire going to these uh, pink and blue. So all three phases are hooked up. We want our shaft to be turning this way uh, before we solidify anything. So I'm gonna tighten this nut just hand tight just because the motor is about to start. When I turn on the breaker, and I don't want it to go crazy. So, and I just want to see the rotation. So, breaker's over here, uh, with this advanced locking mechanism right here. Let's put that locking mechanism down. All right, so, this is the breaker we're dealing with. It's called the E-Fan, I guess the exhaust fan the vent hood to me but I'm gonna turn it on for a second one second it's spinning I can see it I don't know if you can I turned it right back off and uh, let's see slow it down it's definitely going the right way there you go so it's going the way I want perfect so uh, I'm pretty much ready to put my pulley on and uh, adjust next time. All right, so I got these four bolts to the frame tightened. So that thing's pretty secure. I got power off back there. I got um, my new pulley here. This is the Allen that fits. And I got, there's a keyhole right here. And that is the little key that fits into this groove on the shaft. So uh, this is the threaded bushing right here inside the pulley. Uh, so we are going to uh, just simply slide that on. We're gonna add this key. I don't bring any oil, but it's, you can see it's super loose. I'm just gonna kind of drop it. But what you wanna do is look this way, and I'm not gonna do it with the camera because get it wrong but I gotta eyeball it and this needs to go up like a lot more and uh, so what you want to do is, is once you situate those two that are level put your belt on and you want to take an amp draw on each uh, one of your legs and just make sure that this amp draw on the motor right here says 4.4 slash 2.2 the 4.4 corresponds with the 230 low voltage of the motor. The 2.2 corresponds with the high voltage 460. So we're wired for the 230. We want to keep these amps below 4.4 or else this motor, thousand dollar motor, will burn right up. So you got to keep your amperage under that. That's what that, that marking is for. If you don't know what you're doing, don't do this. So I'm going to situate these pulleys, add on the bolts, take some amp draws. And then uh, I put my belt on and then uh, see if we're good to go. And that'll be the end of the Something I forgot to mention is I took a picture of the old pulley. And uh, the new pulley, you can see that there's a nice 45 that way, 45 that way. The old pulley looks like a square like this. Exactly like this one. There's no like uh, curvature, nothing concave. See right there with that background. So this pulley is pretty much bad also. And it's got some bad like marring uh, right here. Grinding, whatever that is. So uh, this pulley definitely needs to be replaced. I'm not gonna do that today, but I just wanted to show you so you know that the pulley is bad. So this one's got a nice 45 degree angle. Uh, and. Uh, once you adjust it to the belt size, that helps uh, the belt stay widened. So once those wear out, they get smaller and your belts are all loose. Uh, so that's just a side note on these pulleys. Uh, the good thing about belts and pulleys is they, they're designed for the belt to wear out, get skinnier. Pulley wears out, get skinnier. So when you have an issue, it's just a belt, like a $10 belt. 
versus too much tension on the motor and then it, you gotta replace the motor every time. So that's the beautiful part about uh, belts and pulleys. So you put, so I'm about to fire it up, but one more side thing I noted, I wanted to know is I brought a universal belt uh, just in case. So if you didn't know these things exist, they exist. You're able to adjust this belt to any size. For example, if this one's pulling too tight, it's too many amps, um, it's not gonna work. I'm not gonna burn out this motor, so I'm gonna have to put out this bad boy. And uh, these things come in like uh, maybe two inches long a piece, and there's a million of them. And all you gotta do is simply, you know, twist them, twist these little heads, get it out of the hole, and uh, pull one off and adjust the size. So I brought this emergency belt so I can go home before five or at five, so I'm not here all night driving back and forth for a belt. That will save your ass. Uh, getting ready to fire this up. I'm gonna fire it up and take some amp draws and make sure I'm under the RLA uh, amps so I do not burn up this motor. So let's fire it up. All right, I got my uh, meter on amps. I got it around one phase. I'm leaving another phase so I can, I think it's gonna be too tight. I want them to explode, so here we go. I already verified the, the rotation. I'm gonna turn this on. One, two, three. So let's go check our amp draw. They're gonna be very happy when they feel the air. I got 3.5 amps. And it's about ramped up, so you wanna wait for it to ramp up. Got to be under that four, four, four. There's another leg under the shitty wire. Next shitty wire, 3.3. And then the last shitty wire is kind of low in there. So I'm not gonna take that one. As long as I'm after these two, I'm happy. I'd like for it to be a little bit lower, but that's fine, man. So I want to see if I can possibly, and that's not even with this secured. See if I can possibly loosen it a pinch. But as of right now, we're good. 3.4, and the other one's 3.4. This motor's good to go. And I raised the pulley as high as I can get it, and you can see like the belt's uh, pretty decent, but. Uh, this one needs some work. That pulley needs to be replaced, so we'll address that later. There you go, guys. Alright, guys, so this vent hood is uh, coming to an end. I loosened the uh, tension bolts over here, those two back there. And uh, you can see it's kind of that way, so I loosened the, the belt to where it's, you know, not going to overpower this motor. And uh, took an amp draw, I got 3.0, so that's a little bit better, so it's going to last a little bit longer. It's not going to have so much load on it. Uh, this customer is going to be very happy. They're, you know, they're complaining for like three days, two days. Uh, and uh, I'm going to wrap this one up. Just make sure when you're done with these jobs, you, you put your uh, high-tech security uh, system back on the breaker so nobody gets back in there and uh, wrap it up dude we'll start selling and talking that's it all right man thanks for watching